writing it you can use your pen or you can also use the main simple mouse to go ahead and write these so now this is the interface that will really give a so how many of you thought that while you are communicating with your students or with your co-participants in a particular meeting there is an urgency or requirement where you were wanting to have something scribbled and you wanted to show something to to them so that they could understand that better and quicker now that is what i have come here with that is using google jamboard which is a whiteboard with google meet yes that is possible and it is very easy to use you just need to know how to use it and i will show you exactly step by step how you can use that in this particular video so if you are new to my channel please consider browsing through my channel listing you will definitely find videos that are informative and which are useful for you and also please consider subscribing to my channel it just takes one minute of your time and that's the way you can show your support to me and also do not forget to like this video in case you definitely like it of course and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and families in social media to spread this information across so this is sonit from techitrical so i'm back inside my meeting and here you can go to the meeting details copy the information and share it across with your participants to join your class right and on the right hand side you will find three dots here if you click that you will find different other menu options that google meet will show you so here the first option that you see is the whiteboard and you have various other options here so let me click that whiteboard which opens a jam for you so click on that and you will find two options here one where you create a new board and the other where you can access your already created whiteboards so let me click the new board here and if i click that a new board will open in jamboard so let me click on this new board and once the jamboard is created this is the interface that comes up right there it's very simple you can see so click on the pen option that you see here and go ahead and start writing it you can use your pen or you can also use the main simple mouse to go ahead and write these so now this is the interface that will really give a good experience to your students or other participants that you have because remember you do not have a whiteboard or even your blackboard right that you used to use in your class or in your conference rooms now this is something that will hook your audience over to your meeting and it will not make it boring so i am just giving an example where i am showing you some multiplication or addition that you can go ahead and show to your students and you can also go ahead and draw like i am doing at the moment and showing it to you guys so you can do whatever you want and if you do like say 2 cross 3 right and you can now make this arrow go ahead and show that 3 cross 2 is also 6 right oh i need to delete something i need to erase something let me click on that and i go ahead and just scrub here and it's gone it acts like your duster okay now let's click on the sticky note why this is necessary it actually helps you in identifying and recognizing some of your notes from your previous classes and you can go ahead and show it to your students or participants that this was the subject that i was teaching about right some important formulas or something like that i do one here as a sample drag it on the right now you can add images i never do that option you can try it but the other option is a text box it definitely helps you in marking different places in case you are showing some diagram some formulas or some other things that you are actually teaching so in case let me here type it as pair and group them and let me drag it and okay you can go ahead and also change the color of this text so i go ahead and change the color from here and make it as blue 
Now, this is the laser. So laser will basically focus your audience and bring them back to the place where you want them to actually focus. Right now, I am doing on this particular diagram that I have done. Okay, now you can go ahead and change the background as well. You can make it as blank, graph or lined, rule lined. So these are differently necessary for your different classes. So you can make it as blank and I would want to make it as blue. Okay, so let me click on the blue and you can see it's a different interface that pops up and it's really standing out, isn't it? So this is really nice experience that you can actually give to your audience who are there hooked up on your. OK, so this is the place where you can rename, download as PDF or you can also remove the Jamboard from here or you can make a copy. So let me go ahead and rename this Jamboard so that next time I can go ahead and access this from my drive. So I go ahead and give it a name here and then let me go ahead and press the OK. So I'm done and OK. So let me press OK. Now this is actually saved in your drive. Now you can go ahead and clear the frame if you would want as you can do in your normal classes right with a duster. But I will not do that. Let me close this window and go back to those three dots. And I click that whiteboard again and I'll choose the second option uh, where it is the drive. Now these are the files, temporary files that the Jamboard has already created for you and I click the drive and here are the files that it shows here. Now you cannot delete from the drive there. Okay, so I bring up that board that I just now created and you can see it's exactly the same board. There is no other part that is deleted or is not appearing at the moment. So please comment below and let me know if this will really solve your issue while you know you want to communicate with your co-participants during a meeting where you want to quickly scribble and show them exactly what you have in your mind. Now there are two videos that are coming up right now on your screen which are related to Google Meet. One is about how you want to schedule a Google Meet in case you are not aware of that and also another video where I will discuss about two very common issues that you might face and how to resolve it. So please go ahead and consider watching those videos after this finishes. So till the next time, bye-bye.